Folks at home, folks at home, Sean Weta coming here with another exciting Phoenix bass boat. It is the 721. You already know about a 721, but you searched it, you found our YouTube site, make sure you hit that little subscribe button right there, okay, so you can see more of this cool content. But got a 721 Phoenix, beautiful boat. We got a Galaxy Mist, a little bit of purple, a little bit of black silver, beautiful color combination, man really really cool now we rigged this one out a little different i don't want to spend a ton of time talking about the boring this has got a mercury it's got power poles yeah we know all that but does have a mercury 250 does have a couple blades on it but this one most of them i'm rigging with hummingbird went with two hds nines and we got the ghost that's right the ghost trolling motor so if you are a 721 fan maybe you just don't like hummingbirds you're a Lawrence man. Well, this is your boat. So, 721, okay? This is Phoenix's most popular selling model. It comes at a little att more attractive price than some of the other boats, but you don't skimp anything. So on a lot of boats, when they have the high-end series, and I don't want to use that word, high-end series. There is no high-end series in the Phoenix. They are all high-end, but 721, it is their older hull, okay? been out a little while that's one of the reasons that the price is a little bit less now 721 has got low gunnels okay the only other series that shares this low of gunnels is the elite so if you like to pitch and flip this is gives you a little bit more of the aggressive stance you can get up on the bow you're not going to smack that gel coat with your roll cast it has a traditional layout in the respects it has two compartments more on that in a minute we're going to dive in and jump up inside there so once we're on board a 721 i want to take you guys for a tour and look over a little bit of some of the things that makes phoenix uh so cool now from a seated position the phoenix has got a lot of room for a big person but it's not too much room that if you are shorter or smaller with this tilt wheel you can still get a nice comfortable commanding view I like that Phoenix has a windshield that actually sticks up a little bit. It's not too high. I can see over it, but it will break a little bit of that cool weather, break a little bit of them bugs from getting in your teeth. Most boats, it's the windshield's cosmetic, and I'm not saying it's a full windscreen, but it does help a little bit. I like how my gauges are up high. I can see. I've got simple roto buttons here. Okay, no touch screens and stuff like that, but you know what? It's simple, it doesn't break. Got a little pop-up cleat here, tie up to the dock with. Cup holder down here, place to set my cell phone. And my favorite is this day box. And we opted for roughly a hundred something dollar, right at a hundred dollar option for that day box right there that has the slam latch is the option. Put a little seal around here this is perfect place to keep your sunglasses, to keep your snacks, to keep your maps, all those things you're grabbing for all the time, and I, and I really like that. But come on up in the boat, and let's show you the actual tackle compartments that are in it. So we got a nice cooler here in the Phoenix, and I want you to come in here and look at this. What I like about this is when you pack this cooler tight, you put those drinks in there vertically. Okay? Don't let nobody come in here and throw all your bottles of waters and your monsters in there sideways because you're not going to get volume. You want volume, you put them in vertically. Lots of ice. Little tray there to keep your bologna sandwich nice and dry. And right here we have two multi-use compartments. These trays come out. Pliers, dip dies, super glue. I usually put my lure retriever in one of those really nice little compartment but this is where phoenix really does a good job over here this co-angler area okay co-angler rod management i think is the best in the business you got this little moose rack plenty of room for the rods and reels and this is nice and flat so the tips don't stick up in the air okay we don't want bubba hitting his jig on his eight foot six inch flipping stick sticking up in the air okay we've even got another little box right here that we can slide a few more rods in so maybe your co-angler spinning rods they'll fit in there we get a few 
four rods in there. Now, front deck, front and center, we've got a standard cackle compartment. You got a little piece of foam here. We can put some crankbaits, spinner baits, individual plastics, and your Phoenix measuring board. We've got a snake light that comes out. Very, very handy those early mornings. And room for planos, plastics on the sides. Conventional layout, just meaning this is, you know, we've all gone to one lid, but not the 721. Another area up here, more tackle, life vests, you know, bulky items. A lot of people like the two compartments, and that's why they still offer that. Over here, big rod locker. Okay, Weed is Marine Hack 101. I take that organizer out shove a lot more rods in there, but some people enjoy the rod organizer. And the compartment over there is just a mirror of this one here. 721, plenty of room. It is so much, I, I, people always say, you know, does it have a narrow front deck? You be the judge. Look, no it doesn't. It's just the other Phoenixes have an even wider front deck than this. Plenty of room to work up here. 721 Phoenix absolutely best-selling phoenix boat and you know we're shooting this video in you know early spring late winter here right now today the snow it's winter but uh, this is the hottest boat in the country they're hard to find so this boat will probably be sold by the time you watch the video maybe it will maybe it won't but if you want one call we as marine largest selection of boats around custom order them we're all fishermen here We'd like the opportunity, earn your business, give us a call, 859-647-BOAT.